it was Edgar Allan Poe's birthday, so I uh, felt that it would be a good place to start. Um, I obviously you know Poe is famous for the Raven, uh, Dream Within a Dream, uh, romance, um, but he also invented the modern detective story. Did you know that? I did not know that. He did. He did invented not. <laughs> so no CSI or <laughs> burn notice. And he's a really odd guy, and you probably know that just because of his stories, but you learn quickly because of his life. That's quite a big book. He was born in 1809, Boston, Massachusetts, and he grew up an orphan. Um, later, Poe attended the University of Virginia to study law. So he was going to be a lawyer? He wanted to be a lawyer, but it was only for a semester, and he dropped out because it cost too much. Now, not because of, like, you know, financial aid was on his butt, but uh-huh. it was because of it, it, he drank himself and gambled so much that he wouldn't even show for classes So anymore. the classes weren't expensive, but all the booze he really he was Yes. Poe was pretty much the frat brother of UV, so... Um, was he in a frat? Uh, no, he was in a frat. No. <laughs> What's a... At this point in his life, what would a broke, alcoholic, gambling, romantic do? He would, of course, join the military. Oh. It makes complete sense. <laughs> so, um, at the age of 18, Poe climbed through the ranks uh, at a good rate in West Point uh-huh. um, because of his intelligence, really. Yeah. Uh, but surprisingly, uh, he even attained rank as a sergeant major, which is pretty high for someone for of his age. For a student. That's for really 18, good. Too, for 18, too. Yeah. So, um, now, here's the part that a lot of people kind of miss out on, because, you know, he joined the military, and then people just say, oh, he dropped out. And then you yeah. don't really focus on, like, how he dropped out or mm-hmm. what happened. That's kind of important. That, why? Poe really hated the military. You can just tell by how he looks. This guy I think he like, hated death, or he was obsessed with death, and so the, the act of killing people would even... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exa- exactly. So one of the reasons he involved himself, like I said, is to better his relationship with his father... But they had a falling out, and he okay. wanted his stepfather's inheritance because he was a well, he was a wealthy merchant. Okay. But once that relationship shattered again, he said, "Screw the military. There's no point in me being here anymore. I'm not getting my father's inheritance." Uh-huh. So instead of him just saying, "Oh, I'm, you know, I'm gonna just drop out," he decided to be creative <laughs> with how he wanted of course, to get he was kicked writer. out of the military. Uh-huh. And he started missing class. He started boozing again, mm-hmm. gambling a lot. Um, ignoring his duties, uh, which only just made them more, you know, when the military started m- missing all these things, it just it just makes it worse for you. They make you do more duties. They make and, you do, yeah. keep doing more and more. So he just finds, he says, I'm going to do the ultimate thing. Yeah, just the worst. <laughs> the the, the worst one thing that thing will get him kicked out. He uses a dead and bloody gander to simulate... A gander the, is a... What? Is a, is a what? What's a gander? What's a gander? I have, I have no idea. Look up what a gander is. Um, really, I have no idea. But we should have looked that up before. <laughs> it looks like a goose. Oh, a goose and a gander. Oh, a goose. Okay, goose and a so gander. So he took a bloody goose. He took a bloody goose, <laughs> and he apparently used it on one of his academy officers to like simulate like a dead head. So like he like this dead goose. He was like shaking it. Just counted around a dead goose? Yeah, he's and just <laughs> dead people? goose. That's what he's... And they didn't kick him out for that's that. That's what it says. No, because that's not that big of a deal. It's oh, no, that's <laughs> nothing. Just walk around <laughs> with a dead goose and shake it <laughs> in people's heads. The real, the real bad thing is what happens next. So it says in a, in a, in West Point's, uh, they have a log of what happens, of course, okay. with their yeah, students. Yeah, of course, they keep good track And they of say that he was needing just neglected parades and roll calls, and mm-hmm. he neglected them from the 7th of January to the 27th of January. The real story is what West Point didn't put on his paper. They, d- they, they d- left this part the out. The unheard story. And they had to show up every morning wearing a white belt, white gloves. If you go to West Point today, they still do they the same. They still do that they every morning. Every they come morning. out in full military dress. Yeah, and they salute the flag. And, and they, they parade the flag around. Out. Yeah. They in public, taps. anyone can go out and see. Yeah. So he showed up just white belt. Just the white belt. Just the white belt and gloves. No, no, nothing else? Nothing. Just, just, he was naked. Just... His little, was, just him was, and his little Poe. He was completely, absolutely na- He showed up for a military drill just wearing nothing. And you've been up to West Point in the during school year. It gets pretty cold. And not just that, <laughs> but those I, like those guys, they seem very stern. Are the world's, one of the world's most renowned writers. Just naked. 
just <laughs> <absolutely> <laughs> naked for a drill. And that's how he got kicked out. They, I, I would assume at that point, that's the breaking point. I, I googled, like, history figures naked. I've got yeah. nothing. And the real yeah. kicker is, no, the real kicker is this, is that the guys who were his military buddies mm -hmm. funded his first book. After all so this, after all that, well, he's probably still, a hero. They still funded his first <laughs> book. I, I so can't. struggling writers out there. Um, that's how you get your first book. Yeah, that's how you. That's how you get get funding for it. So show up naked to something. You know, wow. <laughs>